Hi, my name is Luke and I'm your Snow Country Guide. I'm going to walk you through the process of adjusting your marker griffin bindings. The griffin binding is part of the marker royal family line of bindings. So you can also use this video for adjusting a couple of other marker bindings like the squire and the jester. The first thing we're going to talk about is forward pressure. Basically, this means matching the binding to the length of your boot and making sure the bindings will hold and release properly. The screw on the back of the binding is where we are going to make adjustments. The position of the screw also indicates if it's done correctly. With the boot in the binding, the screw needs to be flush. So let's put the boot in the binding and see where we're at. As you can see over here, that uh, the screw is sticking out, which indicates it's too loose. Therefore, we need to increase forward pressure. We're going to take a screwdriver and rotate it until the screw is flush with your binding. When it's flush, we're going to remove the boot and put it back in to see where things end up. A test with the finger, and this shows us perfect forward pressure. When the screw is hidden inside of the binding, it means there's too much forward pressure and we need to decrease it with some counterclockwise rotations. Now we're going to adjust the height of the AFD. We now take a look to see if there's room between the AFD and the sole of the boot. In this case, we do have a gap, which means it's too loose. So we're going to take something similar to the thickness of a business card and insert it underneath the toe piece of the boot and the AFD. In front of the toe piece, there's a screw that adjusts the AFD height. We're going to adjust it until the card has slight friction. If you've adjusted the AFD height, please make sure that you check the forward pressure again. The final step is adjusting the DIN settings. Do you want to know more about DIN and how to find your personal setting? Please check the video in the description below. My DIN setting comes out to an A, so we will set that DIN on both the heel and the toe piece. To adjust the DIN of the heel piece, rotate the screw to the indicator until the indicator lines up with the required DIN. The back is now all set properly. The screw to adjust the DIN on the toe piece is located on the side of the binding. Again, adjust the screw to the required DIN and you are ready to go. And that is how you adjust your marker griffin binding. You're now ready to hit the slopes. Always remember to check your bindings before each key season to ensure they are still properly adjusted. Properly adjusted bindings are crucial for safe and enjoyable skiing. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching and enjoy the mountains.